Hey fellas, how's it going? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install Kali on VirtualBox. I assume that you all know about the concept of VirtualBox, so we'll start straight to the point. The very first thing you should do is install VirtualBox. If you don't have installed, then download the latest version of uh, VirtualBox from their webpage and install it. Once you're done with the installation, then we're going to install extension pack. The setup is very simple and easy to install, so I'm not gonna cover that. I've already installed VirtualBox on my machine, and now I'm going to install extension pack. To do that, the setup is very simple and easy to install, so I'm not gonna cover that. I've already installed VirtualBox on my machine. And now I'm going to install extension pack. To do that, go to their webpage, click here. Once it's downloaded, click on File tab, then Preferences. And then go to Extension Options. Afterward, click here. Select the pack from Download Directory or Folder. Click Install. Agree the terms and condition, and that's it. We're done. Now download the Kali Linux ISO image. I have downloaded already, so we'll move on to the next step. What we're gonna do here is we are going to create a virtual machine, attach the Kali Linux ISO file that we downloaded to it, and then we will proceed with the actual installation. Click on the new icon. Specify a name and destination folder. I'll give a name Kali Linux and for the destination folder, I will leave it to default. The type and version change automatically according to the given name. But for Kali, we should change the version to Debian 64 bit and click next. Now select memory size to be allocated to the virtual machine. The recommended size is 1024 MB, uh, which is 1 GB. I will allow up to 2 GB. You can allocate it based upon your system. Here, no need to change anything. Click Create to continue. Now, select Hard Disk File Type. Video is recommended, so leave this as it, it is and click Next. Here, choose the type of physical hard disk storage you want dynamically allocated is recommended this options allows the new hard disk to grow and fill up space dedicated to it the second fixed size uses the maximum capacity from the start click next now with file location and size we can now define how large the virtual hard disk will be and also the file location where you want to save your machine and its files. I will leave the file location as default and I am going to define size to 20 GB. After clicking on create, the wizard is complete. Your new virtual machine will appear on the list in the virtual box manager. Now we can click on settings to customize the virtual machine further. Navigate to General tab, then click on Advanced. Change the shared clipboard and drag and drop to bidirectional. This feature allows us to copy paste between the host and guest machine. Now go to System and click on Motherboard. Set the boot order from hard disk followed by optical. Next, move to Processor tab, increase the number of processors to 2 to enhance performance. Finally, navigate to Storage Settings, click on Empty under the controller IDE, then click here. Choose a disk file and select the Kali IOSA file. Click OK. Now, we are ready to install Kali Linux. Click on start icon to begin installation. 
The first time we run it, we will get prompt saying do we wish to mount an image to use as a startup disk. Yes, we want it. So we select the icon to the side of the drop down, select ISO file, select graphical install. Choose the language and select your location. Configure the keyboard. Enter the host name. I will leave it to Kali. Uh, click continue. If you have domain name, then you can add, or if you don't have, then leave this empty and continue. Now set username and password. Leave these as guided use and add disk. Continue. Here, select the scheme for partitioning. All files in one partition is recommended, so leave that and continue. Now, this is an overview of the configure partition. If you want to make changes, select a partition to modify it. Oh, if you are satisfied with current configure partition, then select finish partitioning and write changes to disk and continue. Click yes and continue. Here, no need to change anything unless you want to customize the desktop environment. Select Yes to install Group Bootloader. Here, select the hard disk. Installation is complete. Uh, click continue to put the system Enter your username and password And there we have Kali system on a virtual box. I Hope you like this video if it you like please leave a like share and subscribe to my channel uh, that's enough for today's video i'm signing off now and i'll be seeing you in the next one till the time take care ciao